Ready. All right, you guys, welcome. I'm glad you all are here. There's lots of us here, so I'm pretty pumped. Um, so before we get to Katie, I'm just going to, um, I wanted to, Kim's not on. So if you, when Kim hops on later, hopefully she gets on. Kim last month promoted to sales leader, which is very exciting. That came with a hundred dollar bonus. And now she's making some income from Norwex. Norwex pays her to help other people start the business, which is awesome. And so that's the first level of leadership. And so that's just the beginning. Um, that paychecks a little bit, but as you promote and go higher, Norwex pays you even more, which is kind of fun. So you get to build a team and she's starting that. So anyone can do that. She just started in December and has just been telling people how awesome Norwex is and all the free stuff you get when you sign up and lots of people are jumping on board with her. So I'm excited. So if Kim gets back on, we'll congratulate her. Is she on? She's not on. Okay. So Kim is awesome. So hopefully she hops on in a minute, her and her team. Um, and then something else I just wanted to talk about too, if you, as you're doing parties, um, just like Kim was doing, you can, um, start recruiting now. Um, I know a lot of you guys are new or you're just starting out. Um, but you never know who's at one of those first parties that you're at that you can bless with some, with Normux, whether it be lots of free product. They can't like for me, when I started, all I could get was an EnviroClaw. But then I had a party, joined the business, and I got lots of free stuff that I wasn't going to be able to buy. Yeah. Got some income. So you never know who's at those parties. So don't forget about recruiting at parties. Do the three-minute Q&A where you have them ask you about your job. If you have the, the solution cards, use those. But I just wanted to make you all aware of something real quick. My mom's texting me. You know, just, I will in a minute, Mom. I don't know how to get rid of that text message. Okay. So always offer the business at your parties. Um, it's a great business and it's low risk, so don't be afraid to offer it. But I don't, and I don't know how to do my screen like Katie's going to do. But do you guys know about these, the new starter kit builders? Okay, if you're not aware of these, this is basically what I do when I'm closing my party. I do the three minute Q and A where they can ask me any question about my job for three minutes, and they get tickets towards the drawing. And then I just say something like, okay, if you're really interested in the Norwex business, it's not obligation. You can just, I'll just give you some information. And Trista, Trista Dunsmore always says, she says, uh, I'm not giving you an engagement ring or anything. I'm not going, it's no obligation. I'm just going to give you some information. And I always give them this because I used to not show them these at all anymore. But this gold package, especially you get, you can't read it, but it's like 10, it's your 35% off with an extra 10% off. Free catalogs, free business, like free, or, free order forms, free solution cards. They hit their fresh step one, so they get all of that fresh step one product just by placing this first order. So they're getting um, $416 in subtotal to sales. It's a value of $462 with all those free products in them, and they're only paying $270. So if someone's interested in the business, this is a great place to start because they hit that fresh step. They get all of this for not 35% off, but 45% off in catalogs and order forms and lots of product knowledge. So if you are, if someone is interested in the, in the hostessing in joining Norwex, show them this because I think it's such a great deal. Like I don't want people to miss out on it because I totally, if it were me, this is awesome. Also, if you recruit somebody and they get this, you get a $150 shopping spree for them doing step one. So I always offer them, if they get the gold package, I'll give them 50 dollars of that uh step one money that i get so i just basically say this one comes with all of that and then you also get a 50 dollars shopping spree from me so that's a great deal and you're getting a hundred dollar shopping spree you're getting 150 so now you just have 100. So this is just such a great deal if anyone's interested at all this don't let them miss out on this it's optional i always say that i don't want to push them to do it i don't want to play like you have to do it but if they want it you don't want them to miss it because once they hit submit and they join your team it's too late yeah, this is a really I, good I always tell people as well that gives them instead of 15 days, that gives them 30 days to plan their launch party because they hit that first step. So the next step is 30 days, right? Mm -hmm. So I tell them they have 30 days pretty much to train. So they have a whole month to train, to tell people that they're doing the business and their launch parties are a lot more successful because they have more inventory too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I take that. Pre and then I don't used to, I'd be like, let's wait to sign up until you're 14 days away from your party. Well then, sometimes they wouldn't get their kit till right before their party. And it's just extra stressful, but this is awesome. So, and then I don't know if you guys saw, maybe you pay attention, maybe you don't. So the Fresh Step rewards come with a $50 shopping spree. So this month that they signed up and they got that gold package, 
they're getting all of step one. They're getting that awesome gold package with extra discounts. $50 for me and $50 from Norwex. So that's lots of free, awesome, cheap Norwex. So don't, don't forget to offer the opportunity. And you can just do it with a three-minute Q&A game, which is always fun, too. All right. I think that's all I have to say. Oh, don't forget, too, about um, National Conference. It's in July. We're really excited. I think quite a few of you are getting to come, so we're pumped. Um, it's not too late to sign up. It's, it's gone up a little bit this month, but next month it goes all the way up to 200 and something. So it's like one. Do you know what it is right now? Anybody? Katie? JC? 180 now? 160? I'll look. Okay. Well, it's 189, I think. 189? It's 189 right now. And then we, you can back and look. We're not training on that right now, but we do the hostess cash where, cash where you can earn money towards your trip. So we would love for you to be there. It's just a great, great thing for your business. All right, Katie, you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Right, we are going to talk about how you talk to your host. So the, this is what we call our hostess booklet. Um, we just started this almost a month ago, I think, um, kind of as a trial run before we started telling you guys. So what it is, is literally just a booklet that we stapled together that we have made. I'm going to share my screen with you. Just one second. Okay. Can everybody see this little guy? Yes. Okay, so what this is, this is just kind of like our first page of that booklet. So when I am doing checkout, I have my hostess folders. In that folder, on top of it is the date that I want to do a party. And then when I open it, it has this little booklet in it. And then it also has the rewards for that month, if I already have it, um, and the opportunity um, brochure. And that's all that's in it. And then I also let them choose, yeah, what Jenna's holding right there. I also let them choose a goodie bag out of my, or a goodie out of my goodie bag. And that's usually stuff that Norix gives me for hitting steps, right? Okay, so this is just kind of their goal sheet right here. And I go through all of this with them when they leave. So they're going to make a list of 40 people. I explain that to them. Um, after they make that list of 40 people, these two kind of go together. So they're going to make, can you see my cursor, Jenna, when I'm moving it? Okay. When they hit, um, when they make that list and then they invite all 40, I tell them to send me a picture of their list of 40 and I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. And as soon as they do that, then they get these two check marks. They're getting a $5 credit to go towards their party and that's from me. So what that is, when I'm adding $5 credits, or any kind of credit, what that is is just I'm adding on to their host credit at the end, right? So say they have $50 from Norwex and they get $10 from me, I'll just say you have $50 from Norwex, you have $10 from me, you have $60 all together. And that's just coming out of my commission a little bit, you guys. I used to do a lot of free shipping. This is even, it's pretty much equivalent to doing that. Um, I would do free shipping for just people who would book right then, but I want to give them more stuff so they have incentives to get good parties, right? And so I give them this, and that's just coming out of your commission. Take 35% off of all of, the, all of these, right? So it's really not that much. So then we're going to change this a little bit, so I'll give you the edited version. I think right um, instead of this one, we're going to have something about keeping your party. Um, I know that we've had a lot of people sick. We've had a lot of people reschedule sports, whatever it is. It's and keeping so, your party on that date, on your original date. Party on your original date. And we may even make that, we'll, we'll, we'll figure out how to make maybe that Tindall. I don't know, because I haven't had that problem, but Jenna has. So that might be better if we do that because this one and this one are kind of the same, right? They're kind of doing the same thing. It's a little bit harder for them to get outside orders before their party because they're not as excited. After their party, they're excited and they're more motivated. So this one we're probably going to change. And then we say, okay, to get to your next incentive, we have to hit a few steps. Have you, send out your second reminder. This is probably a week out from their party, right? Just depending on, you guys know when they should send that. Um, I'll show you in a minute what that will look like. And then just remember, just get small snacks and drinks. This is also our reminder. This is our guide too. This is our reminder to tell them, don't go overboard with your food. 
send out the last reminder, I'll send them a little reminder card to send out to everybody. And I'll show you what that looks like too. If they have 10 people at their party, I give them a body cloth. That's easy. You can make that whatever you want to. But we know that we get body cloths in a pack of three. So that's three hosts right there with a 10 person party. And that's great. Okay, so this one, you have people who didn't come. If they get three to five no-show orders, so we might change that to outside orders since we're gonna change this one. Three to five people who didn't order, I also give them a $5 credit. So right now, that's only $15, right? If they have a $1,000 party, so they ch we close their party, we checked it out, it's over $1,000, what I do is I say, you have a 35% discount for the next two weeks, three weeks, month, whatever you're comfortable with, because you're gonna have to keep up with it. All that is, is me giving them my discount, right? And we know that the wholesale of whatever they buy goes into our sub A, so that's just a bonus for your month, right? So all I'm doing is giving my discount. That's also awesome if you have somebody borderline like, if they've hit all of these steps and had a thousand dollar party, that could be someone on your team. So then you're talking to them about that opportunity. Like I'm just giving you my discount and that's awesome. So this is a great way to get more for your host. I always try to give them a little bit of time though. Cause a lot of the times they've ordered themselves. So you don't want them to order again. And I then real quick on yeah. that one, I just, for me personally, I've done 35% off one item. So yeah. I like to pick one other item later to get 35% off of it. Yeah. I kind of say dream whatever you want because I've, I've seen that if I tell people something is 20% off, people are like, okay, if I say it's 35% off, they're like, whoa, and they just kind of freak out. Um, it just, it really depends on what you're comfortable with. You'll know your host by then if she's motivated, if she's great, if she wants everything, I think that's okay, especially if she's going to, Jenna, you probably do that because they probably come back later and want more, right? Mm -hmm. Um, so that's just what, however you feel. Uh, and then if you get one, two, three bookings, five to 15, right? I don't ever go over three bookings. Let's be honest. If you get four bookings plus at a party, then you're rocking it. Um, that way I'm just not like giving them thousands of all of my money. Right. And then I have my little follow these steps, blah, blah, blah. For your free product, you could earn at least $30 from me, at least, and then up to 500 plus from Norwex, right? So that's a ton of stuff. By following these steps, it has really, really helped our people just stay on track. We don't feel like we have to babysit as much and kind of text and be like, how are you doing? Where are you at? It's not as awkward of like, have you invited people? Because we're like, hey, now we're on sending out our second invite. We've already done all this. So it's pretty much your guide too to see where they are. You can print them off for yourself, write the host name, and then check along with her as well. So that's our first page. Our second page, can you see that? No? Okay, hold on. It still says hostess checklist. Oh gosh. Whoops. Hold on, share screen. Okay, here's our second page. Our second page is the 40 plus people, right? So it's just giving them, and I'm explaining, I know that's a lot, but if you invite 40, 10 will come, and our goal is 10 because you get that body cloth and you get a great party. So here's what, just a little list for them. Let me show you. I have to, I guess I have to redo it every time. Um. Bear with us, guys. I just figured out how to do this today. And then, okay, just one second. Our third, this is ridiculous. Okay, our third one is the same. It just has a little bit more options, right? So that's the same, same thing. I tell them, I put them in options for them. And when you're doing that, they're realizing, oh, I do know these kinds of people, like these different sorts of people. Because when you say think of 40 people, people are like, I don't know. They think of the last 10 people they just talked to, right? And they're not as eager to invite. Okay, Jenna, why don't you talk really quick? Because I figured out what I need to do. Okay. Um, she, I don't know what I'm talking about. 
Am I on? Can you guys hear me? I don't even know if I'm unmuted. Okay, so those are the first two pages. So that way they just have somewhere to write it down. And the next pages she's gonna show you, and I'm gonna let her talk through it, are um, the like wording. So when people, you're asking them to invite people, a lot of times they're like, what do I say? What do I post? What do I, what words do I use? And so what Katie has written down and what we look through, we work through, she um, is giving specific wording. That way they're not having to wonder what to say. And they don't think, a lot of times they're like, oh, I don't know what to say. I'm gonna have to think about it. And then like three days later, they're like, oh crap, I forgot to invite everybody. I still don't know what I'm gonna say. We're giving them the words. So when you're like invite, it's really easy for them to invite. Okay, can we see so, this? Yes. Okay, so this first one is just how they tell people about their party. Um, no, it's not. Sorry, what do you see? Which That's one? right. That's the right one. That's the next one. Sorry, I see all of them. So let me. We're on, we're on three. It says number three. Well, you're on yeah three, JPEG. Okay, it's but it says first right here. Yeah. You see that? Okay, so it says this is what you do on your first party. So this is your page number four. I know it's all confusing just because of how I uh, saved it, but. It's telling them, I mean, you guys get this, so I don't really have to go over it a lot, but it's just telling them exactly what to say for their party. So it's an example for that, right? Um, so then let's go on to this one. So here's our second one, right, Jenna? Is that what it's on? Yeah, you're good. Okay. So our second one's the same thing. This is our second reminder and what to say. It's giving them options. If they haven't said anything, then you're going to say, you're going to kind of remind them. If they have said, you're going to kind of remind them in a different way, right? Super easy. But this is just taking all of that pressure off of them where they're thinking, I don't know what to say to people. I don't know how to invite them. Um, and so it's literally telling them all you do is insert their name it's pretty easy and then here's our third one and it's the last reminder so again you're going to invite two different ways you're going to say i can't wait for you to come bring a friend if you'd like be comfy whatever you could want a prize um and then the second reminder is like hey i want to make sure i have enough snacks so that's kind of pressure for them like oh i need to tell her if i'm coming or not um are you going to come i hope to see you just super i mean these are super simple right they're not a word long or a paragraph long begging people to be at their party. And then our last one. So this is what they'll do at the very last. So it's a reminder. You had those people that couldn't come. Here's what you're going to say to them. You're going to say, sorry, you couldn't make it. It was so fun. Or I'm using Norwex to clean my house for those who already tell you like, nope, can't come. But here's for the people who said maybe, which always means no, right? And then just didn't show up. So super, super easy to invite people um, to a party. And we've found that when we're doing that, it works a lot more because it just has something for them. And with that, we're trying to figure out how to incorporate the um, party app that Norx is giving us. I think it still has a little bit more work that they need to do for the party app. But it's a, I always tell everybody, you need to invite three times in three different ways. So the party app could be, I would love for that to replace a Facebook invitation that they're giving people because it's just not as personable. So we're trying to figure out how to incorporate that too because I do think that that party app is a good tool, but we're trying to see what to do with it. Does anybody have questions? You can type them about all of these and we're going to post them once I kind of tweak it a little bit. Um, I, I just want to throw in too, um, hang on, that when I, I stopped for like two parties reminding my, my hostess to remind people the day before and I got to their party and they were like, I, they said they were coming. I don't know where they are. Well, it's like the last time they talked to them was two weeks ago when they invited them. Yeah. So that, that reminder, that third is super important, I've discovered. I thought maybe it wasn't as important, so I kind of let it go. It's important because it happened like to lots of people. They're like, they said they were coming. And it's not people are being rude. They forgot. So let's see. I, send, I make an invite on Canva. I'm still using Canva. I give that to them first 
and then I may change how I'm doing this too and just go back to post my party where I make a Facebook invite for them. Um, but I give them the option of a Facebook event and I usually let my host add that. And if she does, then when I have time, I'll do like two or three videos and kind of make myself present. But I tell her that's like the third tier of the way you should invite. That should just be you kind of keeping up with people and giving info to them. And it should be more for your people who can't come than can. Does that make sense? Um, so it's important too, like I, we didn't add that in there. So when we send out, when I send out that, like that first invite where we give them the wording, they also have a graphic I've made personally from Canva, just saying the date and time and a cute little picture. Yeah. Andy, when you give rewards on the hostess book, how does that work? Are you saying when we give the credit? Yeah. Yeah. So that just goes, so say they earned $15 credit, right? That just, I put that on top of their host credit that they're getting from Norwex too. So what that is, is say they had $50 from Norwex and they used exactly $50 from Norwex or they spent, you know, $52, then I'll minus that $15. So I am putting in my card sometimes. It just really depends on it, the amount you owe Norwex. Um, so you're basically it, just paying for that extra out of your pocket. Well, yes, it just depends. Does that make sense? It depends on if I got paid a lot of checks or a lot of cards that amount do Norwex. If that says zero, then, and I add fifteen dollars and it could still say zero and they just take it out of my commission right but I am using my card for that and then I get paid back my 35 percent when that processes so I am essentially like I'm putting in a fifteen dollar order on her hostess credit does that make sense Andy JC says I also incentivize when people bring a friend I have the hostess tell her friends during the last reminder that if they bring a friend there's a free gift for them and their friend and I have a goodie bag of freebies, travel enviro, stainless steel straws, cut up dishcloths, et cetera. Yeah, that's a good idea. I did too. Yeah, I, I never really, used to incentivize those things, but now that I do, my parties are better. Yeah, we really, really want incentives work, right? I mean, it works for us with Norwex when they say, hey, here's a shopping spree if you do this. And we want that shopping spree because we know we like this stuff. Your host likes this stuff. That's why she's doing a party because she wants stuff for free. And so the more you're giving her, the harder she's going to work for that. And then she's going to see, one, that she had a good party. Two, that this is our job and it's easy because she just did it. So that's also a good way to share with her that she can join your team. Um, I think it's really important. Like it's, it seems hard to be giving away things. Um, but in all honesty, you're not losing anything. You're, you're going to end up making more money than you would have without doing that. Does that make sense? So it feels like you're giving away money to them, but if they've invited 40 to 50 people, their party is going to be way better than if they invited 10 and you're going to make more money. So you are giving a little away, but you're making more in the, anyway. So mm -hmm. overall, you're going to be making more money. If you have a thousand dollar party and you go home with what, what do you, what do we get for a thousand dollars? 350. Um, and you give away 10 of that, right? Just so you can get 350 compared to a $350 party, which those we know we're usually kind of pulling teeth to try to get to that 350, right? And so if you have a thousand dollar party, you don't feel the effects of getting rid of. And if your host hits 350, then you're probably not going to have to give her anything because she didn't have all these steps checked, right? Yeah. So it really is your 750, sometimes 550, but the 750 thousand dollar parties are the ones that you're giving more to, but they're also giving you more, if that makes sense. So it's not scary. It shouldn't be scary. You got to spend money to make money. Yes. And that I will post, I have to do some editing. So it may be tomorrow morning, but I will get those to everyone on our page. Everything will be posted on our page that we talk about. Or JC's page. Yes. All right, JC, you ready? She's muted. And you guys can still do questions on those things. Um, just keep posting them in there. You'll be entered into one of the giveaways just while JC is doing her stuff. All right, JC, can you hear me? Yep. 
Okay, hopefully I'll make sense. I'm running on little sleep, but I'm here. Um, okay, so I'm going to talk a little bit about, um, were you trying to say something, Katie? I said you just had a baby like five minutes ago. Yeah, I have a 12-day-old, so fun. Yay. And he's awesome. Um, okay, so I'm going to talk a little bit about demos that you can do at your parties um, other than like the chicken demo and the window demo. If you don't know what I'm talking about, about those two, um, ask your upline leader or YouTube, either one of those things. There's tons of information on that. So these are some additional demos that you can do. I would just say don't choose all of them. Don't do all these demos. It's going to make your party way too long. Um, and choose a demo with a product that you love. If you love a product and you're doing a demo, you're going to be able to sell it a lot better than one that you don't really use. You're like, yeah, look at this cool demo. They're not really going to uh, go for that. So um, one of the demos that I always do um, is the dishcloth demo. So um, just some things I say, I say, here's the dishcloth. I love this cloth because it does my dishes and dishes are something that, you know, we all do every day. You can use the dishcloth um with any dish soap although norix has a great dish soap it has holes so you can completely rinse it out it will dry so it's not going to get that mildew musty um gross bacteria like a kitchen sponge will so you can throw out your kitchen sponges so i talked a little bit about that you can also throw it in the dishwasher or in the washing machine with your other norwex um, but a favorite thing for with the dishcloth is a how you use it for baking messes so I'm gonna just swap my screen down here. So I have some powdered sugar. So I say anyone that loves to bake, do things in the kitchen, it works awesome on powdered sugar, flour, raw egg, anything like that. You always wanna get it wet with just a little bit of water. And it just wipes it up really easy, right? Woo! And then I say, and then you just rinse it out. Um, I always do this on the Norwex cutting board, just right in front of everybody. Um, and it really is like magic. It just wipes it up. Um, and then everyone's like, where did it go? Wow, that's so cool. Okay, so that's the dishcloth. Um, it's a great one to show. Um, I also have that as part of, I kind of have one of my own packages called JC's Favorite Things. And it's part of that package. So I love to show that one because it kind of does a plug for a package that I like to sell. Um, another demo that I always, always do is the body cloth demo because this is one of my all-time favorite products and one that is just a really good seller. So talk a little about, about the body cloth, about how I use it every day, all the different uses for it. So not only can it completely take off your makeup, including waterproof mascara, lip scents, um, with just water, but I also use it to freshen up. If I'm coming you know, home from work or a workout and I need to go out, you can just like freshen up your pits. Yep, I do say that at parties. You can uh, clean off your kids, sponge baths for your kids. Um, if you have toddlers, you can clean them up after mealtime. You can take it traveling, you can take it camping. Um, just so many uses with the body cloth. So um, two different ways that I do this. The first way is I ask for a volunteer. I say, hey, I have one of these to give away for free. I just need someone, and I, have, and I always say, you have to be wearing some makeup, some eye makeup at least, um, but if you go and wash off your makeup and just try this cloth out, it's yours for free. And there, there's always someone, so, usually several people that are like, I wanna do that. Um, so then they go, they wash off their makeup, the only thing that I'll warn about that is it takes up some time because that person is in the bathroom doing that demo. And so sometimes it's kind of like, well, do I keep going? Do I wait for them? Sometimes they miss a little bit of things. I've also had not everyone's the best reactor. So I've had people come back and they've actually really liked it. But I'm like, oh, what did you think? Tell us. And they're like, yeah, it's nice. <laughs> like, oh. So that's kind of a bummer, like that kind of kills you. You're like, this is awesome. And they're like, yeah, it, yeah, it works. <laughs> like, okay. So you do risk that. But then there's other people that are like, it's awesome. Um, so another option, which I've been doing more recently, is I just bring one. It's actually usually just a used one that I have that's clean. And I bring some mascara and I pass it around and I just tell everyone, take a little mascara, put it on the back of your hand. Um, let it dry so everyone's letting it dry and then I pass this out it's already wet and then they're just gonna you know wipe it off and see how easy it is to come off um, I like that one because then everyone gets to try it and they actually get to feel it on their skin they feel how smooth it is um, and then they kind of can chat about oh my gosh that was so easy you know it felt so nice so that's body cloth one I would definitely recommend doing that one um, the next one you can do is the cleaning paste. 
So we talked about the cleaning paste being our elbow grease in a jar. The cleaning paste is gonna be your all purpose kind of cleaner for your tough job. So um, I have a handout and I will post it and I'll get it to you guys, um, Katie and Jenna as well. But just like, it's like a thousand and one or a hundred and one, I don't know, a lot of uses for cleaning paste. Um, but I talk about you can use it for your grout, um, great for your stove tops. Um, but also if you have a kid that colors with Sharpie on your wall, you pull out your cleaning paste. It'll get rust out of car, like uh, your tires, lots of different things. So, um, I usually use a travel enviro cloth with the cleaning paste demo because it gives me a chance to say, we also have these cute little travel cloths. Um, let them see the cleaning paste. I talk about the ingredients, which are on the lid, and um, talk about how it's just all natural. They can smell it, all that stuff. So um, for the cleaning paste, the two that I usually do, if I do the cleaning paste, I'm not gonna lie, I, I, the clean place is awesome, but I just don't use it that often. I just usually forget to pull it out. So it's not one that I always do, but you can get a little sample of like wood or tile and have Sharpie written on it. You can have someone at the party write it or pre-write it. Um, but if you have Sharpie, you can say, watch how easy it gets Sharpie off. And you just wipe, the Sharpie has been on here literally for probably like two years. So we'll see if it comes off. Um, but then you have people, you can even have two people race and see you know, how easy it comes off. You need to work on that a little bit. That's really been on there a really long time. Um, so if you rub that down, you're, they're gonna be able to get it off. Another thing that you can do is do the whites of tennis shoes. Um, usually the host, if they have kids, they've got a kid that has some nasty looking tennis shoes um, or just someone at the party. If you see the whites of their tennis shoes, you ask them to let you borrow it. Um, then you just take it, wipe it, wipe it down, Um, it's great if you guys do this, but it's really even better if you have someone at the party do the demos themselves. So pass it around, let someone else try it. I don't know if you're going to be able to tell. Can you guys, I don't know if you can see, but this is the one I did. Can you guys tell the difference? Yeah, it's pretty immediate, pretty cool. So I talk about how great it is because I can get my kids shoes used and make them look new. Um, so that's the cleaning paste. And then let's see. Um, another one you can do is a blue diamond. Um, this is our all purpose bathroom cleaner. And I just talk about how oh, it's completely safe to use. You don't have to worry about it getting on your skin and harming you or your kids getting into it, but it's also very powerful. So ask someone at the party if they have um, a dirty penny and give a ticket to someone who pulls a dirty penny out of the purse. Um, I just usually put a little bit in the cap and dip it hold it in for just a few seconds. It really doesn't take that long. And then again, you can take your travel and biro cloth, wipe it off. And let's see if you can tell here, oh, where am I? Can you guys see the difference? Clean side, dirty side. Again, super easy to tell um, on that one. Let me pour that back in real fast. Um, and the whole time I, I'm touching the penny and I'm just saying there's no way I would do this with like bleach or any other bathroom cleaner. You know, it would be irritating my skin. This is not gonna irritate your skin in any way. And lastly, um, I love this one because this is one of our new products. So the Body Balm, you guys have this? It's awesome stuff. Um, so I like to pass this around and I just say, hey, everyone has dry skin, you know, especially on your hands since it's winter. I just say, go ahead and try it. Put a little on your hands, smell it. It has a really nice scent. So people can just kind of rub some on the back of their hands. Um, at parties that I've done this, I've sold multiples of these. Um, so I let people try that. Then on the lip balm, I say, please don't try the lip balm because that's gross. We don't want to be giving each other cold sores. But I, I do let people uh, smell it and just let them see it and see how much bigger it is in our other one um, and just kind of smell it and see how nice it is. So that was like crash course craziness of all the demos. There's other demos you can do, um, but like I said, keep it simple. Always do the chicken and window. I would say you guys probably would agree on that one. Um, and then maybe pick one or two others that are your favorites. Um, get volunteers to come and do it. Get several volunteers to try it. If the host has a like cleaning challenge, um, you can ask her ahead of time and you can actually demo a product on her actual problem. Um, I usually just wait till after the party to do that. So if someone has like a really gross stovetop, use the cleaning paste and actually clean her stovetop 
maybe at the end as people are looking at catalogs and stuff and just say, hey, come check this out or anyone that's interested um, because that's kind of a real deal example of what it can do. So any questions? All right. Annette had a question for you. Oh, sorry. Uh, do you pour the use cleaner back in the bottle? Yep. Yeah, I don't waste anything, Annette. Yeah, I put mine, I bring a little medicine cup with me and just put it in that um, even smaller than the 2.5 mil. Mm -hmm. And I hand that to someone with whoever gives me the penny gets to do that. And I'm, I, everything that I take is something that can be demoed. So I don't take, you know, random stuff that you just can't really show them. Um, and I, the way that I'm giving my tickets is everybody who I say, who's ready for a ticket? And they know by the end of the party that that means they're going to get to demo something. So you want these people to put their hands on everything. Yeah, for sure. And I've done things where people race, like I've got two people doing the cleaning pace at the same time. Um, and you can also do try at station parties where you literally just set things up and you have some really shortened instructions and they just get to do the demos themselves and kind of walk around and it's more self-guided. So um, Sabrina have you said, asked if you've done the oven and grill cleaner demo. I have not. I know that someone used to like always clean their hostess oven, like they get there early. I don't even like to clean my own oven. Sorry, that's not happening. <laughs> and it kind of takes a while. You have to heat it up. Yeah, you want your long. you want your demos to be quick. Yeah. So in yeah, definitely just pick things that you love. If you love the oven and grill cleaner, then bring it over and maybe before their party, you know, do that or or leave them a little sample and let them do it and let them send some before and after pictures with their friends. Yeah. Right. And you need, you need to know the facts of everything. People are going to ask you questions about facts, but they also want to know your story. So if you have stuff that you had an aha moment with, like the cleaning paste, I always tell a story about, I dropped a can of spray paint and it exploded and I cleaned it all up with the cleaning paste. So tell your stories with stuff. Mm -hmm. And that really is what speaks to people more because they want to know that you're using this stuff. Definitely. All right, so if you guys still have questions, you guys can post the questions there. And then real quick, we're gonna have Amy talk up a little bit about the party that she just did. Or Amy, are you good to go? Yeah. All right, you guys, go ahead. Okay, so it kind of piggybacks off what JC said. I um, have been doing these parties for a set of girlfriends. Um, and so they've all seen the chicken demo like four times. So I just tried to figure out a way to um, make it fun and not the same old routine. So I set up stations like JC talked about and um, just called it try it and buy it. So we did um, the inside of her oven door with cleaning paste and a spiri sponge um, and just different things. I bought some razors. I had several um, body scrub mitts and so I wanted to show them the shaving your legs thing and I took volunteers and um, it worked out really good. There were, there were only, you know, a few people there and they had been at several parties, but she still ended up with over a $400 party. And that was like the fourth one that her guests had been to. So these ladies had already spent hundreds of dollars on Norwex products and still bought more because they got to put their hands on it and try it. So it was really fun. Um, I set up the conversation cards next to each, like the ones that applied next to each station and, um, the conversation cards, uh, the, the, I think, yeah, what are they called? The, the solution cards? Solution cards, thank oh, okay. you. Yeah, the solution cards. So, yeah. So That's you had them shave their legs, like, right there? Yeah, totally. They wet down the mitt and shaved their legs. So, and they all felt it. They were all friends, so they were comfortable with that, you know. But, um, yeah, it was fun. What other demos did you do? What other, yeah. like? We did the, um, she had a lot of hard water stains on her um, bathtub fixtures. Um, so I did the, gosh, I'm sorry, product scaler, the descaler, um, mm -hmm. did that right there after she shaved her legs. So we were all in the huddled in the bathroom. Um, the oven door, I think was probably the biggest. Wow. There were probably three or four people that bought cleaning paste after that. Um, so let's see, we did the mop system. Um, I cleaned, while they were talking about the body scrub mint, I cleaned her mirror with a window cloth. They'd all seen it before, but I just, I just went ahead and cleaned her bathroom while we were in there. So. <laughs> That's yeah. nice. Yeah. I, you could do a party like that, I think, even if it was just like the first time they had been there. Mm -hmm. I think so too. 
Yeah. Great. Awesome. Anything else to add? All right. Great. All right. So the I, Katie or Jane, do you guys have anything you want to add before we open it up for questions? I don't think so. Um, what do you think, Jace? You can... I'm good. Okay. You can. Everybody know how to unmute yourself. That might be easier for you to ask a question and know that when you ask a question, we're going to. Are you writing down names? Jenna? I'm going to go get paper real quick. Okay. As you're right, as asking questions starting now and Annette this question you just asked this will count so asking questions starting now will get your name in a drawing um or we usually do uh at our sorry at our um in-home parties which we'll have next month we do a lot of product or sorry i can't think supplies and then for these parties we're going to give you guys products so this is going to be for products for some shopping money so ask, yeah ask some questions so annette said use the paste to clean the oven i do i spray the um oven cleaner on my door and on the sides and then i use the paste on the little grills um i don't know does anybody else do differently with that i just um Put the paste all over the door like the inside of the door and the bottom and let it sit for five or ten minutes and then it wipes right off or you can kind of scrub it off pretty easily so maybe to. using it wrong but <laughs> but it no, works i don't think there's a wrong way our, our amy, amy asks do you still do stack the hostess so <laughs> i stopped doing stack the hostess um i I think that's a great tool. So what Stack the Hostess is, is you get a bag full of about 250 to $300 in product and you have someone volunteer, normally someone you think is gonna be awesome and would maybe wanna host. And you just keep stacking stuff on them to be about $250 or $300 in product. And so um, you can pack, and then it's like so much they can't even handle it. And you'd be like, this is how much you can get. So I don't do that anymore. I know people that do it and love it. I've just taken a break because I have so much time doing other things. Um, I just make sure I make sure they know that booking a party is awesome. So I always talk about, I bring out the hostess rewards and I show them to them. I always tell them that they're going to get this price. Cause I have bask, I have little sacks up. Like you get a gift from me if you book a party and for every party that books up to three, um, your hostess gets five extra dollars in hostess cash. And Katie and I have started, I don't know if Katie still does this. I put a $5 bill in their catalog so that they have that $5 bill and they bring it to me at checkout and I ask them about it. So I have to ask everybody at checkout, do you, are you gonna cook a party and get a prize and we'll put that in her list so, or on her, on her pack or stack, can't think. So then I, ha I still have to ask everybody. So I stopped doing Stack the Hostess and started doing getting parties that way and it's been fine. I just make sure I talk it up. If you, we've showed it at a meeting if you've been to that meeting. It's just, we literally got a clip art of a $5 bill, printed off a ton of them, put them in the back of the catalog with paper clip with their order form um on the page that the bundles are that the so that they can open straight to that and be like oh well this is everything i want i'll just choose that right um and so that's where at the bottom of our host packet where you saw the check marks it said one to three bookings equals five to fifteen that's that's hand in hand right that makes sense so it's not like we're adding another five dollars it's just a fun little way for us to say you hosted this you would get this too hand it to us. And then it's an easy way to segue into asking everybody, okay, what are you going to do with that $5 bill? Do you want to put it in the party pile? And then if they say, no, like, well, I want it anyways, because I have to use it again. So, and I actually don't paper clip mine in. I leave it loose. So it falls out and people are like, Oh, what's this $5? I'm like, hang on to it. You'll hear at the end. And so they're all holding that $5 wondering what it's for. Um, and so I leave mine loose. Okay. Andrea had her hand up. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, I've never done it. Okay. Um, if you are doing like a Facebook party, do you do your own demos on Facebook Live or do you just use some videos like from YouTube? Then, uh, you I don't know. What yeah, I, I do. I do both. Um, I've changed okay. more of myself live um, because Facebook has changed their algorithms. Um, so if you're posting something like, let's say I have a party for Andrea. I don't know hardly any of your friends. When I post on your page, they're not getting any alerts that I'm posting. Um, 
if it's just a YouTube video, they don't get in. No one gets them. Like no one knows I've posted it. If I go live, more people realize that I've done, I'm posting something. Um, so I normally, I'm going live now just to get more people to know that something's going on. Otherwise, like I was a part of a, like a pampered chef party and the, the consultant had been posting for seven days. I had no clue because it uh, okay. didn't alert me. So I think you have to be careful with just posting pictures and videos and never going live. Um, and I always, this is another, I always try to get my hostess to post as much as she can on the page too, because her friends will be alerted when she posts. So I make sure she's posting a lot. That way, when she posts, they'll go look and then they'll see my posts. When you go okay. live now, isn't there an option to add someone in almost like FaceTime? Mm -hmm. So maybe Andrea, you could go live or have your host go live and then you have you add it on there so you guys can kind of talk and demo together and maybe pe more people will watch that knowing their friend is live, right? Mm -hmm. I've done that too where I've gone live on Facebook and if she's far away, if she's close, I don't do this, but if she's far away, I have her <laughs> invite her friends over to her house mm -hmm. and I go live on Facebook and I pull them in. Okay. And that's gone well. Okay. Mary, any tips for doing a party where most of the guests do <coughs> their own homes? I've had, I did almost a year's worth of people who had house cleaners. Um, I still told them they needed the basics because they have to clean up after themselves when they're cooking and everything like that, right? So they also got the environment cost. But every single one of them replaced their bath towels, their Chanel hand towels. So I show them more of the body everyday stuff. And that's the toothbrushes, all of that stuff um, that they buy. But they'll still buy at least the household package. And a lot of them tell their house cleaner, I want you to start using this now. And that's a good, I always tell them to have their um, person who cleans their home contact me because we have someone on our team who cleans oh. with Norwex. And so that's a great thing for them too, as a business to have that. Okay. Anybody else raise your hand or unmute yourself or chat. Sabrina, did you have something? I saw you unmuted yourself earlier. Um, yeah, I think I was thinking of the, it, I was going to ask if anyone had tried using clean tape on like drip pans uh, on the stove or like, you know, underneath your yeah. electrical units or anything. Um, I've cleaned just like around the electrical and it was fine. It's not going to hurt it. Just don't burn yourself. Don't have it on. Yeah. <laughs> Bad idea. Okay. Tiffany, do you have something? Yes, I have a question. Um, one of one of the girls that I'm going to do a party for, she talks about how she has brick floors and all of her mops beforehand have just been torn up on them. Would, which, which mop head would be the most beneficial for her? What would you think? I would think the tile. JC, what do you think? Tile? I think tile and possibly okay. the new chenille dry pad. Yeah. And I would just say, if you have that one, you could bring both and let her try it out maybe a little earlier before her party too. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. Amy Thanks. Vincent, did you have anything? You're unmuted. No. Okay, guys, any more questions for us? Go ahead, Tiff. I had one other question. Um, JC, could you talk a little bit more about your idea of um, – the package that you created, JC's favorite things. I thought that was yeah, a good sure. Idea. Um, so I have a printed out page that I also put in the back with the packages, um, and it's my favorite things. It's a hundred dollar package. Um, it saves them, I think, about fifteen dollars, but it only costs me like five in commission or something. Um, okay. So, or it doesn't actually cost me anything. It, I mean, I'm still making money, but um, it has the household package. It has the rubber brush, but I list everything individually. So it says okay. fire cloth, window cloth, dusting mitt. It's got the rubber brush. Um, it has a set of dish cloths and it has a body pack. Okay. And I just have, it's graphite body pack. I, I keep it all. So then they just have to write JC's favorite things. Um, those are really the things that I love and that I stress in my parties. Um, and for me, a hundred dollar price point is a lot more doable for some people than some of the bigger packages. Um, mm -hmm. And then I have a kind of like a spend and get if they spend a hundred dollars they can get the laundry detergent for cheaper i usually do like 20 instead of 25 um 
which again is not costing me anything, but it gives them a little break. And then most of them add the laundry detergent. So they're using good detergent with their stuff too. Okay. Great. Um, on your JC's favorite things, when they write that on their order form, do you write what it is for your host when she's trying to package that? No, I usually just leave her with one of the sheets that says Jason's okay. favorite things and it's so all packed up. So yeah. And that's why I keep the colors consistent so that it's not confusing to the hostess. Perfect. Okay. Anybody else for a question for us? Thank y'all for jumping on. This is probably our biggest turnout for a Zoom meeting, which is great. Um, our next meeting is the 9th, Jenna. Our next meeting is in April. I'm pretty sure it's close to the 9th. We'll double check on that. It is either going to be at my house in Norman or Jenna's house. We will figure that out. But it is an in-home meeting. Those are great to go to. We'll start it a little bit earlier than 8, obviously. Um, they're really great to go to because we get to share more with you guys. You get to see a little bit more of what we do in person. So every, I mean, just jumping on tonight, you guys are going to help your businesses grow. And the more that you, that we're just learning from each other, the better all of us are going to do. And so we really appreciate all of you guys um, for jumping on tonight, for being a part of our teams. Um, and we just can't wait to see how big you grow your teams too and to learn from y'all. So we will post, give us at least a day. We're going to post the, um, everything we talked about tonight. Uh, JC will post of maybe some videos of the demos that she showed. I'll post our booklets, and then Jenna will do drawings for our people who ask questions. So we're going to go, and we want to thank you guys all for jumping on tonight, and we will talk to you soon. Thanks, guys. Bye, everybody.